will this be Prime One Studios' best selling statue ever? Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. And today we're going to be talking about the Hush Superman, a legendary piece, a very sought after piece in collectors' minds. Of course, one third scale in the past, but now we have the one fourth scale one finally. And I think that this one is going to be incredibly popular for Prime One. Although I wish that they had sold it earlier. I think that they probably could have sold more in today's market, but. It is finally going up for pre-order, and that is very exciting indeed. Batman's going to have to wait just a little bit longer from what I understand, but here is Superman. So I'm going to show you all the photos. We also have a couple of new things that are added to the statue that the old one didn't have. So let's get right to the photos. All right, guys, so here we go. Again, Hush Superman, Prime One Studio, one four scale. And it is very similar to the old one, but there's also some new effects, new bells and whistles um, that I think are actually an improvement. And the biggest improvement for me is the updated cape and also the smaller base. I think that was incredibly smart for them to do, but I think the actual statue itself looks fantastic. Um, it does seem like maybe it is quote unquote dumbed down a little bit just in terms of detail. I feel like it uh, does lose a little tiny bit of detail, but not a lot. And I still think it looks absolutely fantastic. Obviously this one is a legendary, highly sought after piece. And I think that they actually improved or, uh, along the original. I think the uh, this one is better, um, even though it is a smaller scale. And you guys know I love third scale. But I think the cape looks great. I think the pose is still great. Obviously, you have different options and head sculpts and even uh, you know a brand new bonus edition that we're going to get to here in just a second. Um, but if you liked the original and you always wished that you could have a quarter scale Superman in your collection like this, this is your day. This is absolutely your day. Um, $999 USD for this one, um, which again, you know, you think about, although that used to be the price of the, uh, the third scale and yes, it did. Um, but, and even cheaper actually. Um, but this is where we're at in 2024 and it is what it is, but I still think it is worth that price point. If you are a major fan of this piece, um, if you've always wanted this Superman, if you wanted all the great effects and you got the Ivy around his neck as an option, just like the third scale, um, I think the portraits still look really great here. I always really liked the, the one kind of him looking down as he was, uh, you know, flying upward and hovering. So, you know, again, the price point we can argue, but I, I, it's kind of what I expected. I actually expected a little worse, quite frankly. So $9.99 USD is where we're at with this one. Um, and it is up for pre-order um, as we speak. So anyway, I think all the portraits look really great. Like I mentioned, um, I really like the new sculpted cape. I think it looks great. I like the flow of it a lot better than the old one. I feel like it has better detail. And again, I feel like all the portraits look great. Obviously, again, uh, you know, just another look at the Superman cape. It does have kind of that hash, hash marks, which uh, some people like, some people don't. Um, but I feel like it's pretty subtle on this one. You can see it's got some texture, but it definitely captures a little bit of that comic book feel, as you can see with those lines. Um, and I like it. I dig that a lot. So I, you know, I know, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but anyway, the details on the front look great. Again, you can see all of the texturing that they done, that they've done on the suit. I think that looks nice. And then of course, as we uh, show you the base here again, it's a lot smaller than the old one. Um, but I think it's great. I don't think it needed all of the extra bells and whistles. Obviously, I think all of that was designed just to balance him out. But uh, this one, it's not going to be as heavy, so it doesn't need all of that, which is great. And uh, it's definitely going to save a lot of room because the other one, the old one, uh, the third scale, was a massive space eater without question. Um, again, you get the uh, various portraits here, which look great. I think that's awesome. Um, I really like that kind of that evil looking one. That's kind of my favorite one uh, where Ivy's got his uh, her claws in him. Um, but this one is new because it's got the uh, the bases, um, the, uh, the the head sculpt bases, and that's never been done before. That didn't come with the third scale. So that's nice. Again, you have the detachable part. Just be real careful on the third scale. It was uh, kind of breakable. So just be real careful on that one as you uh, get that. And then, of course, Batman's coming soon. Uh, they've teased him. He's not up for pre-order quite yet. I don't have a date for that. Uh, they did say summer, so maybe in the next couple weeks we'll see. But 
I'm assuming that this thing is going to sell like uh, crazy for Prime 1, and hopefully they'll get Batman up as well. But they have teased him, obviously, and again, it's going to be a, a simplified version of the Batcave. This is the bonus part I was talking about. Um, a lot of people already in Facebook have, have said, hey, this is, looks even more Jim Lee. Um, it's more accurate to the comic, uh, limited to 750 pieces. So uh, obviously, this is going to be, at least Prime 1's expecting this to be probably at least an over $1,000 sell here. Um, not $1,000, $1,000. Yes, excuse me. So uh, I, I think this one, again, like I said, will sell very well. But uh, yeah, I think it looks great. And I think this one is just going to be a massive seller for Prime 1. Like I mentioned, you got all the different portraits, the different swappable head parts. Um, so it's very exciting indeed. I think this one looks great. And I'm just so happy for collectors, especially if you are a quarter scale fan. This is finally your day. You might have the greatest Superman ever done. But uh, that, of course, is subjective, but I'm just really excited for collectors for this one. So there you guys have it. What do you guys think about the statue? What do you think about the price point? $999 USD. That's just the world that we live in right now. Uh, yes, it is the price of the old one, if not more. But at the end of the day, we just have to make a decision. Are we going to spend $1,000 on a quarter scale statue? It's not the first time it's been done. A lot of other companies have charged that much. So I don't think it's really shocking at all. But would it have been nice if it was $8.99? Sure, of course. But I am curious if you are going to be ordering this one, if it's going to be a must-have purchase for your collection. I do still think it is one of the best Batman, or excuse me, one of the best Superman statues. So you can tell I want Batman. Uh, but one of the best Superman statues ever created. And I love the new portrait. So I think this one is going to be a bona fide hit for Prime 1. But definitely, I want to hear your thoughts. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Um, just let me know what you guys think. Again, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the channel. I love you guys. Your support means everything to me. So thank you so much from the very bottom of, my, of this Joker heart right here. Anyway, thank you very much. I'll see you in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey, guys. I have partnered up with Red Wolf Collectibles, maker of incredible comic book display options, including this outstanding, heavy-duty, and well-made slab stand featuring an anti-slip pad and all the accessories needed to display your most prized slab comic books, just like this one here in my collection. And now they even have interchangeable 3 d design plates that feature really strong magnets that let you easily swap out logos to match your comic books, slabs, or whatever superhero you want to feature in your display in an absolutely incredible way. And these are just some of the plates available for purchase from DC, Marvel, and much, much more. I mean, look at all of the options here. You can even have your own custom logo made. And they also offer magnetized comic book frames. You simply remove the front, place your comic book inside, and place the magnetized cover back on. It's that simple. It looks absolutely amazing and even features a built-in hook so you can display it on the wall. I mean, look how awesome this looks. Now, if you don't have a slab, you can also purchase their protective comic book cases, which feature high-quality metal corners and screws, and you can also pair this up with the display stands to give it that amazing slab look. Now, all of these are absolutely incredible, and make sure you use code STATUE at checkout for a discount at redwolfcollectibles.com. I'm so happy to be partnering with them because their products are absolutely amazing. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.